saying thank y'all very much what y'all do for us that's her way of saying thank y'all for all of this beautiful hay that y'all have cut for us all this hay because she knows they can keep her nice and fat this winter when all her grass is dead guys i'm very excited about this i'm sorry i'm having to talk so loud the tractor's running we're about to put hay inside of my barn and I'm so nervous about this. I don't know why. It's the little things that get me excited. Oh, I'm nervous. Here goes nothing. Wait, I gotta go first. I gotta go first. I gotta, I have to be first. It's important to me. Dan's trying to steal my thunder. I know it's hard to see, but Jake actually came in very handy after all. So we have lights in our barn. Uncle Dan's trying to stack that hay as high as he can. The lights are in the way, so guess who we sitting up to hold the lights out of the way? That would be old Jake. Oh my gosh. I don't know what he's doing right now. Oh my gosh. Jake! Well, this is a wonderful sight to see. We got the uh, guys over here getting ready to roll up our hay. Seems it always seems strange to me. You come out here into May, you know, sometime in June. Temperature is 100 degrees. Humidity 95%. It's hot, folks. It's hot. It's miserable. And yet these guys are hard at work on preparing for our winter crop. So what the labor we're putting in right now, well, I guess I say we, these guys are putting in right now, will not show itself until this winter when everything's dead and dry and we need food for the animals. So today they've come by to cut the hay. And as you can see, it is nice and thick. Let me back up a little bit and just show you this. This is bahia grass. Look at this. It is nice and thick. Jamie and I took bets. She says she thinks we can get 35 rolls on it. I'm going to go for a record this year. I'm going to say we're going to get 45. I know that's a lot. I know I'm. we have never gotten over 40. But uh, I've just been watching it grow. I know Ed has come out a little bit later than he usually has. We've had a lot of rain on it. And we have this little additional pasture over here that we didn't bail last year. And so I believe that we're gonna get, I'm saying 45 rolls. So Jamie says 35, I'm saying 45. I'll have Ellie take a peek and see what, his, what he says. And we'll bring that back to you. We love doing those kind of things, having those little personal challenges. Well, they got it all cut. Looks good. You can see all of the white birds have come out. Those are the egrets and they've come out to nibble on any kind of insects they can find this cut grass is kind of neat yeah I'll be curious to see how much hay he can get off this thing guys guys all I can say about this is wow just wow look at all this hay and the guy's still over there bailing it. It's a lot of hay. Look how pretty it is. Wow. Look at all this. Now give you a drink. Uh, Ed, give her a drink, guys. This is... <laughs> put, put it in your hand and get... she's thirsty, Ed. All that hay she's been eating on that y'all been bailing has really yeah so this is the may family and they've come out folks these are the guys that come out and do our hay every year and i told ed and i are just sitting here i can see he's just as shocked as i am because we've never got this kind of hay off this pasture and uh i know that it's because we uh, fertilize is one thing 
And fertilizers is not, it's not cheap, y'all. Fertilizer is not cheap. But I tell you what, it's worth its weight in gold when it comes to this hay. And uh, it's got a lot of hay here. It's a lot of hay. But the donkeys have come up, and Ed's drinking him a bottle of cold water. And I'm a gene, want a bit of it. He don't want to, he don't want to give up, though. <laughs> oh, she don't want to drink out of your hand? Oh, Beverly might. <laughs> So they've been harassing Ed and his family all day. They've been out here for a while. They got his sons out there on the tractor mowing. Oh, they Oh yeah, look at the back of my side by side here. People have gifted them. Oh no. Well, you know what? I'm gonna replenish all those that you're feeding out of your own little stash there. Because you have done it here. I'm gonna just gift you all those. Right. And they have donkeys also, folks. They have three of their own donkeys at their place. Come on over here, Dan. Don't be so sad. Poor Dan's wearing his mask. Let's take your mask off. Are you just embarrassed? <laughs> oh, we love this part of the our, of the day, though, feeding the animal crackers. And people are so good. They love to see the donkeys come up. I'm trying to work with one hand, though, and that's not always real easy. Here, hold on, hold on, hold on. It's Dan's first. Dan's been waiting patient. Boy. So y'all know I'm a gene right there is the one that survived that uh, Harvey flood. Oh, yeah. Now listen, she stands about four feet, y'all. Look how she comes up to about my chest. Okay. All right. And that water come across this hill. It got six foot in my house. <laughs> and my house, as y'all know, is the highest point of the Morrow property. And so I can't, I don't know for the life of me how a four foot donkey found her way through six foot of water. And so that has baffled me. Is she really they, bothering you, bothering you? They, they can swim. Well, she can't swim for for three days, Ed. Mine stood out there when that Harvey come up. Uh-huh. And they got up to their necks. And, and they just, up. yeah. And they took off swimming. Hey, nice. really, don't let me push them away. Hey, listen, they are, y'all are cute and all, but that's enough because they can be real annoying at some point. That's, we love them. Oh, we love them. And look at that one over there getting into everything. She's done found her something. And, uh. Did y'all lose anything, uh, Ed, during Harvey? I never asked you. I don't think about what what y'all's place went through. It can be annoying, though. I love them, y'all. Don't get me wrong. You, you can love them, but not always like them. Y'all know about that? <laughs> That's how it is with donkeys. You can love them, but you don't always well, like them. They're little skittish. They won't let you come up to them. Oh, are they skittish? Yeah, I like Ivy! Baby, you're going to mess everything up back here. Come here. Come here. Hey, all y'all. Everybody. Come on, pull them. Come on, look. Everybody, come on, look, look at, look at here. Y'all can all come and eat like normal animals off the ground. You ain't got to be hand fed everything. Come on, Ivy. And nope. what are you predicting number of rolls off this field? Now, you've been doing this your whole life. Uh, I, did, did you? Okay, I got to catch my breath. Did you say 60 to 70? I did. Okay. I, Wow. Seriously, I, that that's unheard of. If we get any, if we get sixty or seventy rolls of hay off this thing, man, I gotta stop my video now. I don't know what to say. I'm at a loss of words, and that rarely happens with me. All right, so he's just got something out of the back of the side by side. Ed, tell me that story again. Listen to this, y'all. Well, my grandfather yeah used to predict the weather, and the old timers would take the day after Christmas. And go to the last six days of the year, and the first six days of the next year. Okay. For each month of the following year, and if you watch the weather during them days, oh. it will predict. Hold on, that sounds like some kind of black magic. Hold on, they would take twelve. The old twelve. They call it the old twelve days. Okay, the old twelve days. The old twelve days starts the day after Christmas and goes to January the sixth. Okay. Each day stands for each month of the following year. Okay. You write down what the weather does the whole day in that river. Wow. At midnight, it starts the first part of the month. By 12 o'clock, that's the middle of the month. And by the, third, <laughs> by the end of the day, it stands for the 30th of the month. That's My interesting. My prediction is, uh -huh. this year, May and June was predicted by my grandfather's old, old 12 day prediction that it'd be wet. And, it's, and it has look been, look, look how wet it's been. <sighs> All right, so I am videoing the very last roll coming out of that thing. That's a pretty one too, that's a full roll. Guys, we're about to find out the number. 
Now, I want to remind you all that I said, Jamie said she thinks 35. I said I'm going to go with 45. Ed here says, no, he knows, he knows his fields. And Ed says we're going to damn near get between 60 and 70. We're about to find out the official number. Y'all walk over here with me. So these uh, balers, they have a counter waiting to find out here. <laughs> oh man, 66, Ed. <laughs> Look at that. Look at that. That's a lot of hay. Man, I was off by 25, 20 rolls. And look how pretty that stuff is. Man, that's some pretty hay. Folks, I want to just end this video by saying thank you to the folks who love and support us. Man, God has blessed us this year. God has blessed us this year. Thank you to Ed and his family and who come out and do this for us. This is going to keep all of my animals fed. This is going to keep... Guys, listen to this. We only need about 40 to 45 rolls a year. That means that all this extra hay can go to my dad. That's going to save him a chunk of money on his hay crop. And we'll actually... Wait a minute. This is the first cut. This is the first cut. So it's very likely, if we don't have a drought, we can do this again. So what we're doing is... We're using both the truck, the trailer, and both tractors, and we're trying to find a way to stack this stuff in there. Oh, look at Pearl. Pearl! Here comes the next part. So we have Dad driving my truck with the trailer, and he's going to pull up, and I will start the unloading process. There he is, old Papa. Maggie, move. Oh, hey, Dave. Everybody loves a good heyday. Quite the system going on here. <laughs> oh yeah, I couldn't let him have a normal cup ever again. That sparkly cup that says Jamie is forever. The what? The chicken in the way. Oh my God. This tastes Goldie. Baby, Goldie, this is not for you, sweetie. Later. You can't get crushed. Look out, sweet girl. Oh, look at her eyeing this out. She cannot wait. Goldie. Looks good. in the hay barn. Oh, I don't like that. All right, now let's back it up. Come on down. I want to pull out of there nice and soft. That sounds horrible. There we go. I don't know if y'all can see what's going on here, but guys, we are filling up a barn with some hay. Now, I'm not saying I'm a pro by any means. That's not too shabby. Look who has finally shown up to work. Jake has finally shown up to work. He thought we were just messing around. Hey, I gotta go in there. You gotta go the other way. Jake has shown up and he's messed our entire system up. We have a system here, Jake. He's messed our system up. Man, this has become a job. Jake has shown up, <laughs> and I'm not lying. I thought that, I, so we all know Uncle Dan is the best on a tractor. We know that my dad's good. I'm getting there, all right, I'm, I'm getting there. But I'll tell you who needs some work. There's that one right there. Let's go! I done lost my voice trying to holler and scream at him. I know what y'all are gonna say. Jake's trying to help us. You should admire him for helping. Guys, I do admire him for helping, but if you, if you can't see, I'm getting rained on. I'm getting rained on, and my whole purpose of having this barn was so that the hay would not ever get wet. And it's raining, and I'm getting wet. 
I know it's hard to see, but Jake actually came in very handy after all. So we have lights in our barn. Uncle Dan's trying to stack that hay as high as he can. The lights are in the way, so guess who he's sitting up to hold the lights out of the way? That would be old Jake. Oh my gosh. I don't know what he's doing right now. Oh my gosh. Jake! <laughs> oh, <laughs> that would be Jake, y'all. That's the that's the perspective that Jake brings to farm life, all right? That's fun. That's funny. That's fun. All right, so work is done, folks. I'll just go ahead and say now work is done. We've all congregated together. The funny thing I want to show you, though, is normally a group of men of our caliber, once they finished the job, they would normally have what, Jamie? What would men normally have in their hands? Beers. A nice cold beer. And here the four of us sit. I got the sparkly cup. And we're all drinking. What are we drinking here, Jamie? What are we drinking? Some Kool Aid. <laughs> What'd you make us, love? Some Malibu and Crystal Light. We have Malibu and Crystal Light. And guys, seriously, if there were real men here, we'd all get our asses whipped right now. <laughs> Y'all do realize that, don't you? I, I feel like I'm on the beach. <laughs> you are. Look. You're, yeah, yeah. <laughs> anyway, I want to thank you all for helping. Look at all that. I could not have done that without Uncle Dan. Dun, dun, dun. Uh, shirtless Jake, even though he's not really shirtless right now, but I want you to look what he's wearing. He hold kinda on, hold is. on, you're taking away from my, the credits I gotta give later. Oh, that was a gift? Yes, this was a okay, gift. Okay, 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 well, I'll just it's hold the video. Way if you're watching this video. And hanging with Paw Paw. And then we got from suits to boots. <laughs> hey, Dan, you don't have a channel yet. No. Nope. You need one, Dan. I'm just an Instagram guy. You're just an Instagrammer. Okay. Yep. <laughs> well, thank y'all for your help.